Hi everyone, I've been asked to make this video showing how to get rid of um, black lines or spaces in like pants or a skirt or whatever. For this one, I'm just going to use the long skirt mesh because that's what I've been asked to help out with. It's very, very simple and uh, right, so let's make a start. So first of all, I open up GIMP. And I go and I open up my external hard drive, which is where I've got my uh, files and all that. So, download designer kit, legacy, and then the UV map, and then it's lower body and it's the long skirt this lady's wanting me to show you. So, open that, and then we scale it down because 2048 is just a bit too large for any of your image editing softwares to handle especially when you go into finer detail on stuff so I've always found this works well and you can see there that's the whole mesh there and I'll just lower the opacity because I like to be able to if, especially if I'm working with black and if you have black on that um, black mesh it doesn't work very well now we go over here and we open up a new layer and as this is going to be a white skirt, I'll just use the bucket fill tool. No, in fact, what I'll do is I'll show you what happens if you don't quite um, bring your colouring right over to the... So we'll do it this way, and then I'll use the bucket fill tool. And you'll see if I zoom in to say 200 and come over, you can see I've got quite a gap there. So, this is just to show you what happens um, and how easy it is to fix. So, although it looks like we've got all this filled in, you still must hide this mesh, this lower body mesh. So, we'll just go and we'll save that. And I'll just save it as a test skirt white. Okay. So, just name it anything you want, but make sure that you save it as a PNG, which is very simple. You just go down here and cancel that second. You go down here and you just open this and you scroll down till you find PNG which is fine. Export replace. Now I'm replacing this because I've already tested this and then we go into our clothing and you click on create outfit new style female legs now, if it's a long skirt we're working with, we'll do long skirt. And then in the layer, it's skin clothing, not skin, skin. Then add the texture, and as I, I already have one in there, I'm going to go into existing group and just add that one there. But if you were doing that, you would click browse, find your file, and then use that. And as I've already got this in, I can now hit replace, choose file, and I can go over here and choose this but if you were using you would browse for your file and then just upload it and then we'll carry on with publish okay and then we'll test it now I'm thinking that the problem and you can see there I've got a nasty gap there because I didn't quite take that all the way over and I think what the problem this lady was having she wasn't actually hiding her lower mesh which if I was to do that I'll show you let me put that on. See, we've got a black line there. File, export. Try it again. Duplication. And replace. Choose file. You can see we've got a bump. You can see that black line down there already. That's because the mesh hasn't been hidden. It is so important, even supposing it looks like you've got the whole mesh covered in that window, please, please, please do hide the mesh anyway, just in case. It's always better to be safe than sorry. And then publish, uh, test. Now you can see we've got that block down there, which we do not want. So what we're going to do is go back into GIMP and all I'm going to do here is um, select none so that I've got nothing, no running ants or anything. And then I'm just going to grab my bucket tool, zoom in to 200, 
over there and then just like so. So you can see if you zoom in, you can see you've got no spaces on either side whatsoever. And that's what you must always be so careful of. Always paint or uh, whatever bucket fill outside the actual mesh lines. So now if I'll export. Back at my outfits. Purchase, my design, configuration. Replace. White, replace. Oh, sorry. Publish and test. And now you can see there is no line whatsoever. And that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope this helped any of you that's been having this problem.